You have in your writings uh, the idea of the, the golden mean, the idea that balance um, is essential to life, um, uh, moderation. Um, Aristotle, do you, as you look around uh, the world, do you feel that we've, we've lost that sense of balance, that we just hurtle helter-skelter from one thing to another and have lost this concept that can be an orienting compass in life? I think that the uh, war and the geopolitical crisis between the U.S. and China is a reflection also of the loss of balance, but not only in the way that it is commonly understood. I, Aristotle, I guess, uh, yes. was a, I happened to be advisor to President Gorbachev uh, and That's to, extraordinary. It how, is, how, did, how, did you, how did you do that? Were you on a, because when some you were, kind of hotline? Because when you were the world's somewhere? greatest philosopher, you can okay. do all sorts of things. Uh, and, and the advisor to President Yeltsin and the advisor to President Kuchma uh, in the first years uh, of uh, Ukrainian independence. So I saw one crucial thing, which was that at the end of the Cold War, the United States and Germany promised to the Soviet Union and to Russia, if you disband the Warsaw Pact, we will not extend NATO. You actually witnessed this, Aristotle? I, you are saying that you witnessed this? I absolutely... It's disputed by former Secretary James Baker, you yeah, name it. it is, you, you saw, you heard that, you were in the room? If, if, anybody, uh, if anybody would like to write to Aristotle's email address, sachs at columbia.edu, I will send you to the archival files that show explicitly how Hans Dietrich Genscher said explicitly, we will not move an inch east, and also how the Secretary General of NATO in the NATO meeting in 1990 said, we will not move east at all. So Aristotle, are you blaming the current crisis on the West breaking its promises? I am blaming the current crisis on the lack of balance and moderation, absolutely because the idea that this is only one side is a myth. This is a crisis that has been brewing for 30 years, and every year Russia said, please do not come closer to our borders. Please do not come closer to our borders. Please do not come closer to our borders. That's the truth, ladies and gentlemen. So you and think- in it, And in 2008, it, it, nonetheless, do you interrupt Aristotle? Well, Please. sometimes I'm obliged to. I'm, I know you've come a long way, you must be tired, but I, I feel it's, uh, I feel I have to from time okay, to time. Please. <laughs> no, Aristotle, so the, these broken promises, they were, uh, they would not have been broken if the leaders had been wise enough to consult you, is that what you're saying? We had very wise statesmen, statesmen who followed Confucian and Aristotelian thought. You like, think, you think like, that you really think they're one and the same? Like George Kennan, who said in 1997, NATO expansion will lead to the next Cold War. He said it immediately. And we entered a region of crisis. And being Aristotle, I called the White House last year and I said, please stop the NATO enlargement because maybe we can still have peace but they're not philosophers, they're people of action, uh, and they were not interested in stopping any expansion. They declared three times in 2021 that Ukraine will be a member of NATO. We trapped Ukraine in the middle of this battle between these two giants. It's an utter tragedy for Ukraine, an utter tragedy.